government and organized labor are meeting again to continue negotiations on the proposal for an increment in the base pay of single spine salary structure for 2023. On Thursday, the 17th of November, organized labor, which is part of the public sector joint uh, negotiation committee, tabled more than 30% salary increment. According to the public sector workers, the daily base pay is lower than the government's newly announced daily minimum wage of 14.88 cities, or 14 cities, 88 pesos. Government appeared before organized labor with concerns about budgetary constraints and shortfalls in revenue mobilization, which will make granting the demands of labor very hectic. And that meeting, we are told, is scheduled for later this afternoon. And while at it, we are hoping to get uh, some further information as to how uh, government intends to resolve this particular concern. And uh, before that, though, we are told also that uh, Deputy Minister for Employment and Labor Relations has been responding and explaining to uh, our correspondent, Daniel Opoku, on what government's proposal is and how they intend to navigate this water. He spoke earlier on Friday. Here is uh, Bright Rekubrobe, Deputy Minister in Charge of Employment and Labor Relations. Government table before labor, that is making labor so much upset. No, we are not... Uh, uh tabling anything making them upset it's still a negotiating process and they believe that you know what they put on table we must accept it you know but then we also are looking at so many factors just like they are also looking so monday like i said uh, two days within, within the weekend will give us some respite think of our positions and come back you are very mindful of the industrial front when the does not be disturbed at all at all i mean once there is that spirit of uh, negotiation, there is that uh, willingness to negotiate. Why should there be uh, disturbances? Let's uh, see if we can get some better and further particulars on this proposed meeting, which is scheduled for later this afternoon. Daniel Opoku is our labor correspondent. He's joined us uh, on phone for a quick chat on this. Daniel, good afternoon to you. Uh, yesterday, you gave us indications of commitment from both government and labor that they will be meeting today to try and further the conversation. What else have you been able to pick up in terms of the willingness to come to a compromise if that is what will be the best decision for both sides? Right, so good afternoon to you, Martin. Basically, what labor is saying is that this is funded by the figures that we have tabled before government. So for record, a nice encounter, labor is able to make sure of the African government be able to grant that percentage and government also should uh, find the ability to pay and also revenue short of which we earlier stated. And at the last negotiation, government was talking about 8% and the 10%. Now, today, the negotiation that is going to continue, and government is likely to increase the pizza to, to meet labor halfway. But I want to listen to the signals I've also been able to pick from the, from, from the labor front is the fact that. Even if government should grant around 20 or 25 percent, they will not be too much happy about that. Basically, when you look at the current economic trends, also look at the financial trends, and also look at the depreciation of the city and high cost of living and the current economic conditions. So, if government should grant 20, 25 percent, it doesn't look like labor is likely to take that one. But that also will play out when they make this happen. That also depends on how government is able to negotiate with organized labor for them to appreciate. That there are difficulties in the economy, so they may have to bear with government. So they will agree to a percentage because government needs a percentage. The Minister of Finance might be able to conclude negotiations today that will enable them to factor into the 2023 budget, which is shown to be presented to Parliament up around Thursday. Mm. Wow. Very, uh, very intricate time we are working with. But, uh, well, thank you. 